while we are initiating our investigation with the trazomod in the GI space with inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease, it's very clear that a trazomod as a mechanism of action has uh, immunomodulatory properties and anti-inflammatory properties. And as a result, it can be used across a variety of autoimmune and inflammatory conditions. We are initiating beyond uh, the gastroenterology space um, work in dermatology, starting with atopic dermatitis in a phase two study that will be uh, kicking off later this year. And one could imagine a variety of uh, disease conditions across a variety of therapeutic areas that are autoimmune or inflammatory in nature. There are many of them. Uh, there could be at least 80 different types of indications for a drug like a trazomod. So we're excited about it, and we're starting first anchoring on the uh, GI uh, space um, as IBD, uh, with IBD, and then moving into dermatology. And where we go from there will be predicated on some of those results that we see. I think the great thing about atrazomod is it is a once daily oral therapy. And that seems to be the name of the game in developing new therapies for um, inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's. There was a number of years ago, a great therapeutic um, advancement with the uh, development of biologics. And biologics certainly have their place, but they're also cumbersome to utilize in terms of their administration. And we know that patients and physicians would prefer uh, an oral therapy if it were effective enough and, of course, safe enough. And so this is the excitement that we have around um, uh, a trazomod as an S1P modulator. We believe that the phase two data that we've um, uh, gathered to date shows that there's real potential in terms of having a very high degree of efficacy in an overall safe and, and tolerable uh, drug that is importantly convenient for patients. So that, that is the underpinning of our excitement and we're beginning to initiate a phase three program in ulcerative colitis first followed uh, shortly thereafter by a Crohn's disease program.